A city mourns, a parish that through him became a family, weeps. In a Lambeth Hall, he lies in state. Archbishop Amigo, sixth bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Southwark. His pupils, his friends, his neighbours flock in their thousands to Lambeth as the Archbishop's catafalque is taken from Amigo Hall that forever commemorates his name to Westminster Cathedral. Consecrated 45 years ago, the Archbishop was ruler over a wide diocese that included Kent, Sussex and Surrey. His unassuming friendliness, his sympathetic work among the refugees and the poor stamped him as one of the great among the Catholic clergy in Britain. He earned the love and respect of thousands of faithfuls, borne out by the many who crowd into Westminster Cathedral and overflow into the streets outside for the solemn Requiem Mass. By special dispensation of Cardinal Griffin, whom illness prevented from attending, the Archbishop's remains receive a five-fold absolution. From Westminster Cathedral, the Archbishop's body is taken back to his own war-damaged cathedral in Southwark. There, at his own wish, Dr. Amigo is laid to rest. Seven hundred clergy, among them five archbishops, twenty bishops and the Pope's special delegate to Britain, crowd into the ruined church. There too are Mr. De Valera and Mr. Sean McBride, who had flown from Dublin to pay a last tribute to a great friend of error. In a crypt below the ruins of his beloved cathedral, Archbishop Amigo finds his last resting place. He will be remembered as a man of great heart, as a priest of courage, and as an archbishop devoted to the people he served for nearly half a century. <laughs>